it's Marek, welcome to M Drives. So today I'm happy to announce that my car sits lower because I've got B16s on. Uh, I also do have new brake lines, braided brake lines and a new fluid, RBF 600. So I would say the car is ready for the ring, but more importantly, um, I just want to take it for a spin now. So the car was corner weighted, uh, the geo was done, uh, so it should be ready for a rip. So without further ado, let's go. But before we go anywhere, big shout out to ML Performance for helping me with getting the suspension. These guys had the best price on the market. So make sure you check their website before you purchase anything because you can save yourself some money. So I'm not exactly sure how he did set up the suspension in terms of the ride height. I think uh, at the rear he went pretty much to the bottom of the scale. Um, and at the front, I think at minus 25 or minus 30. Uh, but we will see. The car needs to settle. Uh, the car only done about 15 miles in the, since the suspension went in. It already changed um, since he uh, dropped it off at my place. Um, so it definitely needs a bit more miles to settle. Um, however, it's starting to look more even and uh, like I said, the car was corner weighted so should sit really nicely on the road um, and the geo was done. So yes, the car should feel fine. As you know, um, Bilstein B16s have adjustable damping, uh, so they work on a 10 clicks uh, and I asked my mate to set it to 6 at the front, 6 out of 10 and 5 out of 10 um, at the back. So back is slightly softer but we are sort of in the middle of the scale so the car should be really compliant and to be honest how does it feel softer or should I say more compliant than the stock suspension that's for sure. Um, from what I can feel now any kind of little potholes and uh, they just the suspension irons it out. The uh, stock suspension was definitely feeling much more fidgety and uh, it was kind of, you could feel this, this little movements all the time. Like here, on really uneven road, I could feel it so much more on the stock suspension. This one really irons out all the little bumps. Definitely such an improvement. I can't actually believe it's It's weird that the car is lower so you would expect it to be Much harder, but actually it's the opposite Really in my car you would feel this change in the level of uh, tarmac so much more It feels more settled flatter in the corners as well not that the stock suspension in M2 um, has a, a lot of roll but you can definitely feel improvement there as well but definitely the biggest biggest difference is a lack of this um, small vibrations happy with this I'm really happy with this such a difference such a nice difference I didn't think this is possible I didn't think that the stock suspension can be worse in terms of comfort than um, an aftermarket one especially when it's lowered <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> there is such a difference in the corners. That 
all that compliance means that the car really sticks in the corners um, so much better uh, before on this bumpy corner you could feel like all of these little bumps they actually makes you makes the tire lose traction a bit and um, slide and, and kind of hop and with this it's just like it's all ironed out new tarmac so happy I'm so so happy <laughs> was definitely worth the money. That's all I can say. Yes, I'm very happy guys. Very, very happy. Um, I can't really wait to take this car on the truck. I think it will be an absolute riot. Yes, Nürburgring in two and a half weeks guys two and a half weeks um, Probably even less by the time you're watching this video. So 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 excited and can't wait now uh, Before I go I probably will um, do a bit of adjustments once the car settles um, I might adjust how high it sits at the front and the back um, But other than that, oh my god Oh my god, it's ready! It's definitely ready for it, so can't wait. So a good example here, very bumpy road. And it doesn't feel that bumpy anymore, honestly. What a difference! Stock suspension, it's trash compared to this in terms of damping. It's not that bad, it's not that bad in terms of you know how the car sticks to the road but in terms of damping this is miles better this is just a different league I think the car is definitely ready for the next adventure I absolutely can't wait to get on the ring with this setup I think it's going to be epic but for now thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please make sure you like and subscribe um, and if you have B16s, please let me know what are your settings, where the car feels the best. I will really appreciate all of your comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Do widzenia.